Today we're going to be making this very simple hanging guitar pick case that's great for hanging up on your wall or you can even hang it over the neck of your guitar. This would also make an excellent gift for the guitar player in your life. And for our guitar pick holder, I am working with some size 4 medium weight cotton yarn. You can use any size 4 medium weight yarn that you have. I'm also going to be using a size G or 6 or 4 and a quarter of a millimeter crochet hook. And you also might want to consider grabbing a safety pin or a scrap piece of yarn or a stitch marker for this. And we're going to begin by attaching the yarn to our crochet hook using a slip knot and then we're going to chain 10. Once you have your 10 chains in place, we want to join with our first chain by placing a slip stitch there. Once you've created your little ring, we're going to chain 50. And this is about right for wrapping around the neck of a guitar. But of course, depending on how you want to use this, you can place as many chains as you want. And once you have your 50 chains in place, then we're going to dive right into placing 12 single crochets over our chain ring. So we want to do that by inserting our crochet hook in the ring and you want to do this somewhere near your starting tail and we're just going to yarn over and pull up through the ring and then yarn over and drop our two loops to complete our first single crochet and from here we're going to keep placing our single crochets over our chain rope until we have a total of 12 single crochets and as you can see here, I am just crocheting right over that starting tail. And once you have your 12 single crochets around your chain ring, then I want you to take your other chain ring and just sort of move it forward because we want this to be in front of our next steps. From here, we're going to dive right into our very first single crochet and we're going to place a single crochet in that stitch as well as in the following stitch. Next, we're going to mark our first single crochet using our safety pin or a scrap piece of yarn or a stitch marker. And once you have your first single crochet marked, then go ahead and place one single crochet in each stitch in your row until you get back around to your stitch marker. And when you make it back around to your stitch marker, you can go ahead and remove it and we're just going to repeat our last row again, making sure we mark that first stitch of our row placing one single crochet in each stitch in the row. And when you make it back around to your stitch marker again, you can go ahead and remove it. And the pattern for this row is going to be to place one single crochet in our first stitch and then we're going to single crochet together our following two stitches. So to do that, insert your crochet hook up underneath your next stitch and yarn over and pull up through. Then up under your next stitch and yarn over and pull up through. And you should have three loops on your crochet hook. Then you're just going to yarn over and drop all three loops. And don't forget to go back and mark that first stitch. From here, we're just going to alternate between placing one single crochet and then single crocheting two stitches together, going all the way around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of eight single crochets. And at the end of your row, you're going to slip stitch into this stitch that's sort of opposite from your crochet hook in this tiny little circle, and that will close the gap in it. And from here, we're just going to cut and tie off our yarn. 
And I usually just draw my tail to the inside of my little guitar pick case. And so now you can just slide your guitar picks into your little case just like this.